on the boy reaction hey guys other boy reactions here all right so we're getting back into supernatural season one episode eight bugs let's get into it Dude, this place is perfect mm. except Ew. for the mosquitoes ah! oh shit <sighs> yeah. Why doesn't they call other people to help him, too? There should be multiple people helping him. Oh. He's not even trying to wipe them off. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, God. It's not the most honest thing in the world, Dean. Well, let's see. Honest, fun, and easy. <laughs> Stop. It's no contest. Stop. Stop. We're good at it. It's what we were raised to do. <laughs> How we were raised was Jeff. Uh, you. Huh. We got a new gig or what? Are you the Travis who worked with Uncle Dusty? Uncle Dusty. Dusty never mentioned nephews. Oh fuck. Really? No, he sure mentioned you. That was their uncle. The greatest. Oh no. I did. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, They're lying. They're lying. Listen, we wanted to ask you, uh, what exactly happened out there? Ten. Hmm. I take a whole lot more than that to eat out some dude's brain. Or well, maybe there were more. So you two are interested in Oasis planes? Yes, sir. Let me just say, we accept homeowners of any race, I do it. color, or sexual, sexual orientation. <laughs> we're brothers. <laughs> Our father is getting on in years. Look at Dean's face. Great, great. Well, seniors are welcome too. Oh Come my god, in. seniors are welcome too. <laughs> Sam just smiled, and Dean was like horrified. Well, let me just say that we accept homeowners of any race, religion, oh my God. color, or sexual orientation. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to Larry. Okay, honey? <laughs> oh, someone likes bugs. Uh-uh. My son, he's into insects. There we go. He's very inquisitive. No. 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 You can choose from. Uh, okay. Who's your dad? <laughs> yeah, Larry usually skips me in the family introductions. <laughs> Ouch! I am so sorry about my son and his pet. It's no bother. Remind you of somebody? Why was their dad like that? Dad never treated us like that. <laughs> Well, they never treated you like that. You right. were perfect. He was all over my case. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you had to raise his voice, but sometimes you were out of line. <laughs> right. Right, like when I said I'd rather play soccer than learn bow hunting. Mm. Bow hunting's an important skill. Whatever. They're either being controlled somehow, you know, by something or someone. You mean like Willard? Yeah, bugs instead of rats. <laughs> I want to try the steam shower. Come on. Will we be trying it together? Well, you're the next victim. Oh my god, no! Uh, oh my. That's your reaction? That's your fucking reaction? Oh, I would have freaked out. What is wrong with you? Oh my god! Oh, now you're afraid. Now you're afraid. Oh my god. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Oh. You think I had something to do with that? Let me tell us. That tarantula was a joke. He's too disappointed in his freak son. Well, don't sweat it, because in two years, something great's going to happen. <laughs> what? College. You'll be able to get out of that house and away from your dad. What kind of advice is that? Kids should stick with his family. Oh, <laughs> God. No. Much further, Matt. We're close. I'm glad they're showing the difference between them. Ugh. No. Is it a skull? What is it? Yeah, it's a skull. He didn't respect it. But no matter what I did, it was never good enough. Yeah. So what are you saying? That dad was disappointed in you? Was. Yeah. <sighs> Is. You know what most dads are when their kids score a full ride? Proud. Proud. Mm-hmm. Most dads don't toss their kids out of the house. He kicked him out? I don't know if he's even going to want to see me. Mm. Sam, dad was never disappointed in you. He's afraid of what could have happened to you if you wasn't around. 
Mm. But even when you two weren't talking, he used to swing by Stanford whenever he could. Keep oh, an wow. eye on you. Why didn't he tell me any of that? He's too proud. <laughs> That's a two-way street, dude. You could have picked up the phone. What? No. That's on the dad. It's the dad's responsibility. Come on, we're gonna be late for our appointment. Well, truth is, you know, we start sentence with truth is, <laughs> liars. <laughs> I like him. He's not a liar. <laughs> I know the area. American Calvary came to relocate them. They were resistant. Calvary impatient. They murdered, raped. The next day, the Calvary came again. And the next, and the next. Fuck. And on the sixth night, the cavalry came one last time. And by the time the sun rose, every man, woman, and child still in the village was dead. As the chief of the village lay dying, he whispered to the heavens that no white man would ever tarnish his land again. Mm -hmm. Nature would rise up. Wow. Wow. Insects. Very interesting. So and you the can't... The there's nothing you can do then. None would survive. How can you stop it then? If we don't mm -hmm. do something, Larry's family will be dead by sunrise. They're not gonna listen to you. They're not gonna give up making money and making houses. Ah! You gotta make him listen, okay? Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Matt, under no circumstances are you to tell the truth. They just think you're nuts. But but he's my... Tell him you have a sharp pain in your right side and you gotta go to the hospital. Okay? Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Get off my property before I call the cops. Mr. Pike, listen. Dad, they're just trying to help. Get in the house! Well, you couldn't Sorry. do that simple Don't lie? Truth. We had a plan. Oh, oh my god. Right. Look, it's 12 a.m. They are coming any minute now. You need to get your family and go before it's too late. I'm not gonna what listen you mean to before you. the biblical swarm. Larry, oh what do you God. think really happened to that realtor? Dad, they're right. Hey, we're in danger. <laughs> Matt, get inside! No! Now! Why won't you listen to me? Because this is crazy! It doesn't make any sense! Look! This land is cursed! People have died here. Now, you can really take that risk with your family! Wait. You can't say that! Here? Oh, my God. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And the power lines. So what do we do now? We try to outlast it. That's the plan? Hopefully, the curse will end at sunrise. Hopefully. Oh my god. Is that gonna work? Oh fuck! Close it! Close the chimney! Close it! Walking so slowly! Close the flu! Oh come on! Just standing there! Oh my god! Maybe it was closed and they just broke through. Oh shit! How are they gonna get out of this? Oh my god! It's just gonna end? Wow. Well, I guess they better move out. But what are they gonna tell people? The uh, development's been put on hold while the government investigates those bones you found. Oh. But I'm gonna make damn sure no one lives here again. How? How are you gonna do that? You don't seem too upset about it. Well, this has been the biggest financial disaster of my career, but... Somehow... I really don't care. <laughs> okay. Everything's A-OK -okay with your son now? Is he throwing bugs away? Why? What's this? I don't know. They kind of weird me out now. Hmm. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I should hope so. <laughs> I want to find Dad. Yeah. Let's we'll stop wasting yeah, time. Me too. Yeah, but I just. I want to apologize to him. He's just doing the best he could. No, his best would have been able would have been to tell you what well, he was don't feeling. Worry, we'll find him. <laughs> And you'll apologize. And then within five minutes, you guys will beat each other's throat. Right, exactly. 
just how it is, I guess. Yeah, probably. Guys, oh my goodness. To the road. Okay, I guess we're done talking about our feelings. <laughs> oh. Oh. Some bugs. Um, that was an interesting one because there really was no villain. I mean, you know, um, nature was just fighting back against <laughs> the white men <laughs> who were, you know, once again taking over land. Um, you know, at one point that didn't belong to white men. It was taken forcibly. Um, you know, it's interesting because, um, even though, you know, um, yes, like, no, not all white people are to blame for, um, you know, their ancestors' <laughs> cruelty. Um, you know, they're not directly responsible, but, you know, they are, um, reaping the benefits and the rewards of that cruelty. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a very sensitive, complicated situation. Um, but I kind of love that, um, you know, there wasn't a monster that needed to be killed, that needed to be exercised, because the Native American spirit, um, slash nature, whatever, um, was kind of in the right. Yeah, maybe, you know, um, the people that were killed, like the construction or the gas and um, power people, um, the realtor lady, they're not directly responsible for Native American suffering, but they are, you know, benefiting from the cruelty and the racism that happened, you know, hundreds of years ago. Um, you can that can be said about <laughs> any any um you know culture any race that has been um affected by colonialism um it's like no not every white person is a bad person not every white person is racist but like if you're not like actively being an ally and trying to stand up to injustice then you know you're kind of a part of part of the problem as well so i'm glad that you know there wasn't like a native american spirit that needed to be killed or anything like that cuz that would have been bad but they kind of just let you know um the spirit and nature and the bugs do their thing until until you know the sunrise and then it would go away and then um you know, all the spirits really want is for people not to um, develop on that land. It still happens today. They're like, they're still, I mean, the land was taken from their ancestors and um, even Native Americans today still, um, you know, yeah, they're given reservations, but it's like they're still impoverished and they can't, they can't live the way that their ancestors did, you know, at one with the land and everything. Like, it's just, a lot of them get into, um, they ha it's hard for them to find work, even if they wanted to, to integrate into society. It's hard for them to get jobs, usually turn to drugs, a lot of meth addicts. Um, I mean, they didn't touch <laughs> on that in this, but... Um, you know, it's, it was interesting because there wasn't a monster, um, you know, the, the developers weren't bad people, the Native Americans weren't bad people, um, it just, it was what it was, um, but I'm glad that, you know, Larry said he's gonna make sure no one ever, you know, lives there again or tries to develop there. I don't know how he's going to stop that. I don't think that's going to happen. I think... Because who's going to... Like, who's going to believe um, the actual reason? Like, what reason could they possibly give for not developing there? Even if the government investigates those bones, they're just going to, you know, think, not, think nothing of it and be like, oh, okay, well, 
you know, that maybe there was a murder here once upon a time, but that's not going to stop us from building houses. Um, or it's not going to stop us from um, selling the land to other developers that want to make money. I mean, so, I mean, I mean, that's just in my head, obviously. They're not going to touch back on that ever again. But um, what was really interesting was, you know, we got to hear how Sam felt about <clears throat> about his childhood and how different his childhood was to Dean's. And um, in some ways, they both had something that the other wanted. Dean, um, a part of him probably, you know, we heard in previous episodes that he probably resents a little bit that he didn't get to have... A normal life even though he said that he wouldn't want a normal life in this episode and he said it freaks him out um, and he said he would take his their freaky family over normal any day I think it's that's just a way um, of him you know trying to protect himself because first of all that's all he knows is the life that he had but also um, I mean, I think a part of him does want, you know, he wonders what his life would have been like if he had gone to college like Sam. Um, but then I, on the flip side, Sam, you know, Sam got out, but he, you know, at a cost, it cost him his father. And he also didn't get along with the father when he was living with the father because he didn't want to be in the family business. He didn't, he wanted nothing to do with the supernatural. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, he thought his dad, um, didn't understand him and that he, he thought his dad was constantly disappointed in him when, and he found out that the dad really just wanted to protect him. Um, and he was afraid for him to go out on his own because he wouldn't be able to watch over him. Now, if you just said that, sir, you know, we could have saved ourselves a whole bunch of time, but, you know, <laughs> you have three men living in a house. Like, that is, <laughs> that's why they needed the mother, but she was taken from them. And so it's just like, you know, three men who don't know how to express themselves. <laughs> Sam, you know, is a l at least a little in touch with his emotions. Um... But it's like, Dean, I mean, Dean has his moments, but for the most part, he doesn't like talking about, he doesn't like talking about his emotions unless he has to, unless he needs to, like, like, in dead in the water when he needed that kid to open up, so he had to open up, like, things like that. But, like, in general, he doesn't like talking about anything, like, real, anything emotional. And, and Sam, you know, is a little bit more truthful like the Native American guy said, like he's like, I like him. He he's not a liar. <laughs> but it was so interesting to see the difference between them and, and their different perspectives on how they were how they grew up and you know, Dean seemed like he he really had no problem with their childhood and um but it but it is it does make a difference because you know, he's drawn to the supernatural and he liked spending time with the father in that way and hunting things and hearing about monsters and stuff. But, um, and so that kind of made him, it made Sam probably think that Dean was like the favorite because, um, they got treated differently. And even though, um, it seemed like the dad was disappointed in Sam, he really wasn't. He was just overprotective and um but he couldn't express it like they like they can't I'm sure Jeffrey Dean Morgan is very similar to Dean um and that they they couldn't express they don't know how to express themselves um which is you know um very common with <laughs> with straight men um and I mean we were getting, you know, we were getting something even at the end there. And then they were just like, okay, let's go. Like, <laughs> like we're done talking about our feelings. Um, that's enough. Sam was really needed in this episode because he got um, Matthew to open up. And he understood where Matthew was coming from. 
He understood how Matthew felt. First of all, it didn't really make any sense why the father didn't like his own son. Like, so he likes bugs. So what? Like, I mean, like, get over it. Like, he's not hurting anybody. Like, he's lucky that you have, that he has a son that has a hobby and he's not getting into, into trouble. Like, he could be out doing drugs. He could be out, like, hurting people, stealing. But he's not. He's, he's playing with bugs. Who cares? Um, but at least, I mean, you know, it took this traumatic experience to bring those two together. Um, I thought it was interesting that there was nothing they could really do to to fight the bugs, to stop the curse. All they had to do, all they could do was wait until sunrise because that's when, you know, it would end until, did they say every year or every 10 years? That's crazy. There was really nothing that they could do. They could have died. Um, and if there were more people, you know, in those houses, if they had actually, if he was actually a good realtor and sold people houses, um, you know, a lot of people would have died. So I guess it was lucky that nobody else lived, you know, in, in town, uh, in that neighborhood. I thought it was very interesting how Dean would just, no matter what Sam would say, Dean would just keep defending their father. Um, he just totally saw a different side of their father than Sam did, and it was really nice to see Sam's realization of that. And um, and then, I mean, he says that, oh, like, you know, when we find him, I want to apologize. And, I mean, yeah, I guess, but, you know, I think, I mean, hopefully the father will apologize too, because I feel like the responsibility is on him. He is the parent. Um, like, I hate that. I hate when people just can't say how they feel. Like, we could save so much time. They could have had a much better relationship if they would just talk about how they feel. But that's always the problem with men, which is so frustrating. It's so frustrating. <laughs> But at the same time, there's probably, um, you know, not only, not only was it just a house full of men in the Winchester household, but there's trauma there. And Jeffrey Dean Morgan, um, you know, probably subconsciously feels like if he shows any kind of affection, if he, if he shows that he cares, um then you know he 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 could lo he could lose um his children if he he probably kept them at a distance um because he was afraid to lose them like like if you like in a strange way a lot of a lot of people feel like oh if i admit that i care about someone um and i let them in and i you know then if I lose them, it's going to hurt so much more. But if I keep them at a distance, then maybe it won't hurt as much if I lose them, if they're gone. Or, um, you know, it's just a way of self-preservation. And, you know, it's really unfortunate because it wastes so much time. Um, but we all do it. Um, but men especially. Men especially. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, that was... Supernatural bugs. I enjoyed that episode. If you did too, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like full reactions and early reactions, please check out my Patreon by going to the link down below. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Bye. I can't tell.